Hey guys, I hope you're already enjoying my green smoothie that I shared in the part one of this video. Isn't that refreshing and delicious? What do you guys think? Well, let me know in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you. And for now, are you ready for my pink smoothie? Well, I am ready too. I have all my ingredients all set up here. I actually have my Ziploc ready right here. Yep, all the fruits that are gonna go in the smoothie are here in the Ziploc bag, all ready to go. And this is a pro tip if you guys love smoothies as much as I do, but are on the go and hate the hassle of making the smoothie, collecting fruits and putting them all together in the morning. Well, I hate doing that too. So I kind of make these smoothie uh, freezer packs and uh, I pick the fruits and veggies of my choice, put them in a Ziploc bag and freeze them for a week or two. So every time when I feel like having a smoothie, I just pick the free smoothie pack of my choice, put it in the blender, mix it all together and I'm good to go. I have my favorite smoothie for the day. So yeah, this is a great tip for you if you are on the go. This is going to be a great time saver for you. This has been a great time saver for me as well because in the morning I just put everything together in the blender and like this, I have my smoothie in my hand. And if you guys want to find out what goes in this smoothie, keep watching as I'm going to show you exactly how I make this smoothie. So in this smoothie freeze bag, I have blackberries, blueberries, strawberries, and one banana. These are almost two cups of fruit right here. So I'm gonna add these to my blender. If they're stuck together, you can gently separate them or you can just run your fruit while they're still in the Ziploc bag under water and they, that will kind of unstuck the fruits. So in my previous smoothie, I added coconut water, which made it quite refreshing. And this smoothie, I like it to be a little bit creamier. So I'm gonna use um, almond milk here. So basically when you're trying to lose weight, you wanna stay away from dairy. So almond milk actually is a great substitute for dairy. And I am actually here using the Blue Diamond Almond Milk. It is vanilla flavor and it literally says it has 30 calories per serving, which is, I guess, great. And apart from being low in calories, the almond milk is high in vitamin E. It's good source of calcium. And sometimes they add a little bit additional vitamin D in it. And also it's a great option for those who are lactose intolerant. I'm gonna shake this well before use. Oh, I have the seal on so I'm gonna remove the seal almond milk is literally 50% lower in calories than your regular cow milk and it makes a good source for people who are trying to lose weight and since it's not from an animal source it's great for lowering cholesterol okay anyways let's add this so I'm gonna add almost two cups of it you know I like I like this blender a lot because this tells me exactly how many cups or ounces I'm making. So it has these markings here. Uh, I'm gonna add, this is almost 16 ounces. I think I'm gonna make two servings and do it like 24 ounces or three cups. Uh, maybe a little bit more. Because I have a day off today and I think I'm gonna sip on this smoothie all day. Okay, so now we're gonna blend everything together. Oops. Excuse the loud noise. This blender is kind of loud, so excuse me for a second. I'll blend everything together and we'll be right back. All right, everything is blended well. Look at that pretty color. It's so beautiful. Pour this in the cup. Look how creamy it is. Thick and creamy and looks delicious. I think this much is good because I'm gonna top it up with a few more items and one of them being flaxseed. And like I mentioned before, I like flaxseed in every single smoothie. It, it has such a nutritional value. I add it to all my smoothies. And I sometimes even sprinkle it on my salads and some of the foods because yes, it is a superfood. 
And to all the ladies who are watching me, do incorporate it in your diet because it has this plant-based estrogen that prevents breast cancer in addition to so many other health benefits. So I'm gonna add just a tablespoon of this on top. I actually have a spoon inside. This is almost like one tablespoon. Excuse my mess here, I'm sorry. Okay, so that goes on the top. It kind of gives a texture to your smoothie. Some people don't like it. I don't mind the texture because in my head, I know that this texture is worth it when I'm eating a superfood. So, well, I think drinking in this case, but I think you know what I mean. So I'm gonna stir this a little bit. I also like it to stay on the top because these two uh, toppings I'm gonna add are going to make this smoothie look so pretty. And now I'm gonna add this chia seed. I almost always have this chia seed on hand. I kind of take this much portion of the chia seed, add it in water, you know, it kind of picks up all the water it, so it expands in the cup. So make sure whenever you are soaking chia seed in the water, your container is big enough so it gives room to your chia seeds to kind of swell up and look all delicious and yummy. I just love chia seeds. They're almost tasteless, but I just love how it melts in the mouth. So actually a tablespoon of chia seeds have almost 10 grams of fiber. That's around 40% of the recommended daily intake. Isn't that awesome? And despite the small size of the chia seeds, they are full of important nutrients and they are a great source of good cholesterol. So don't be afraid to even add three tablespoons, which sometimes I do. All right, so I'm gonna top this up with the chia seed. Look at that beauty. It looks so delicious and beautiful. And to make it even more delicious and beautiful, I'm gonna add just a little bit of coconut powder. It's not really coconut powder, these are uh, coconut flakes. So I'm gonna sprinkle those on the top. This is really creamy and iced, so you can drink it with a straw or I like to have my ice cream spoon and I kind of take spoons of it. So that's why I like to add these extra toppings because that kind of gives crunch to my smoothie. I think I'm also gonna add some almonds on top. Make it even delicious. Oh, amazing. I mean, look at that. I mean, look at that. Who wouldn't want to have this beauty? You know, I, I like something that's so eye-catching, delicious, and yet nutritious. It's, it's like all in one package. It's like the perfect blend. Let me go in and taste it. So I'm gonna go deep in with the spoon and kind of mix everything. Oh my gosh, this is so good. I'm gonna take another spoon. The berries are so refreshing. Berries in this smoothie are actually full of dietary fiber, which can actually prevent constipation, promote weight loss, and maintain the healthy digestion. And you know what, I have said this before in my weight loss video that fiber is so great in helping you keep you fuller for longer, and it also reduces your appetite. So go for it by all means. And also berries may improve your blood sugar, your insulin levels, and not only that, but berries have strong anti-inflammatory properties. So inflammation is actually your body's defense against infection or injury, but long-term inflammation actually may also occur with poor eating habits, increased stress, and with the kind of lifestyle we have these days, we don't eat healthy and we or incorporate junk food in our life, a lot of sodium that actually also causes inflammation. So something rich and healthy in antioxidants like berries is actually great to reduce the inflammation. And I've also added banana in the smoothie 
which is actually a good source of vitamin C, magnesium, potassium, and gives you energy and aids in digestion. So see, this smoothie is so healthy and delicious that I'm sure you guys are gonna love it as much as I do. It's like all the nutrients and everything you need to have in the breakfast. And speaking of breakfast, this is actually just my breakfast number one or my pre-workout breakfast. Just something to get me going for the day. I'll have it all at once now or or save the second half for later in the day so basically when i have an evening shift at work i have my lemon water and smoothie in the morning i go work out at about 10 30 and then i come back and have my breakfast number two around like 11 30 or 12 and for my breakfast number two i would have two boiled eggs for sure to get me protein and i would either have avocado toast or uh, maybe cereal or oatmeal, whatever I feel like that day. My evening shift starts at 12.30 in the afternoon and I get my lunch around four o'clock. So in between, I make sure that I drink at least four to six glasses of water. And I actually recently bought this, this water bottle. This is like 1.64 liters. And when I'm finished with the whole water bottle, I know that I've had enough water for the day. And I try to finish like this much, the half of it, before going to lunch. But the key is that about 30 minutes before going to lunch, I make sure I don't drink water or eat any snack because I want to make sure that my belly has enough room for the lunch. Because with such a hectic and on-the-go day, also working out at the same time, I want to make sure that I'm not undernourished. All right, so there you have it. This is my overview of breakfast. And of course, this is not something that I eat every day but pretty much similar like and these two smoothies the green and the pink smoothies are my favorite choice for weight loss and healthy breakfast you know since i've been getting a lot of requests to make a video on what i eat in a day and instead of doing like an hour long video of showing my breakfast lunch and dinner and my snacks of course i decided to kind of split it and make few series so this is my breakfast and I have already posted my dinner video. You can go check that out if you haven't already. Here is the link, it'll be in the description for you as well. And I promise I will soon make another video sharing my lunch routine. So stay tuned for that. You know guys, you asked me for these videos and I made it happen. So do leave your feedback in the comment section and let me know how you guys liked it. Like I've said before, I am not a chef in any way and I'm not a great cook, so pardon me for any mistakes and any messes around here. And if you do find value in this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know which smoothie you like better, the green one or the pink one. 